can see here is the android 13 version and this is the new android 13 easter egg and this is how it looks when you press and hold on the emoji it just changes this is the android 13 easter egg now moving back this is the about phone page we are taking a look at the evolution x android 13 rom and the evolution x version is 7 the security patch level is august 5th and the kernel is nightblade kernel and this is the first build of the evolution x android 13 rom so there are a few bugs present so don't expect this rom to be that good but it's good it's not that bad it is usable as a daily driver i'll show you everything in this video the bugs features everything so watch the video till the end this is the android 13 home screen and it just looks same as the android 12 this is the app drawer and here is the quick settings ui the quick settings now just stays in the black it does not go to the white even in the normal white mode as you can see it's not the dark mode it's just the normal white mode and still the quick settings just stays in black it in the system these are the options available and if you notice the gesture bar has been taken a bit upside so this is a bit change here the other changes in the gestures everything is just the same the quickly open camera system navigation gesture in the settings these are just the option moving back the one-handed mode here is available and it works fine and now we get to see the show notification options also so yeah if you want to use one-handed mode then you can use that the system update as you can see the update here is available the evolution x this is the first build and the latest build update here is available so which is a great thing now we also get to see the poco parts here in the first build of the android 13 so which is really good poco sound enhancer here is also available the animal hi-fi rack the animal direct the security currently the face unlock option here is not available but the fingerprint scanner works perfectly fine animation is still the same fingerprint option the pattern and everything there are no more nothing new options available the face unlock here is missing but it will be added later builds so yeah we can wait then in the wallpaper and style this is the ui the, here another change here is with the theming options the themed icons here are available which are the same as android 12 but the themed themes here are a lot more available previously there were only two slides now four slides are available the color combinations are available more and in the basic also more colors are available yeah. and the dark theme here is available which works perfectly fine no issues the app grid this is all what we can set to. now moving back in the display options these are the options the night light here works perfectly fine no issues as you can see the colors natural the minimum refresh rate we can change to 60 90 120 even 50 and 30 hertz are working fine the device specific settings we can turn off the pell style notch from here as you can see this is how it looks but it's just not working as you saw the pill style notch option here is available but it's just not working let me just do this the pill style notch we just get that it doesn't go to the two notches so this option here is available but it's not working the ambient display here is working fine then in the battery the these are the just the same ui as the android 12 nothing is new battery usage here is captured but it's not that great I'll show you the battery backup. It's average. It's not that good. As you can see from 75% to 48%, I got 1 or 4 minutes of screen on time. From 90% to 43% battery drain, 2 hours 35 minutes of screen on time. So overall, you will get around 4 hours of screen on time. So here is the example, 91% to 18%, 3 hours 45 minutes of screen on time. And the charging time here is also not that bad the charging time on this phone here is also average it will take around one hour to charge it fully so yeah from 30 percent to 80 percent i just keep my battery in that range 20 to 80 it takes around 45 to 50 minutes to charge in that range so yeah then 
we also get to see the customizations the evolve world the evolution x customizations it's not that much but the customization are less as compared to the previous build as this is the first build of android 13 the customizations will be adding in the later builds the themes options these are the options the dark theme body font icon pack signal icon pack the wi-fi icon so these are some new options some customizations theming options available then in the notifications these are just the option the notification light here is working fine no issues the gestures we only get to see this which i already shown you previously then the buttons customizations the system navigation which also takes to the same place so yeah no changes then we get to see the screen of animation like this this is the screen of animation then the scale animation here is available as you can see this is how the scale animation but it's of no use like who uses the screen of animation in this gen then in the miscellaneous here are the main features the unlimited photo storage the unlock higher fps in games which works the jitter calculating here is available but i just don't understand this so i don't know if somebody understands this then please let me know in the comments how it works the show temperature warning usb configuration and the radio info so these are some options available in the customizations now moving to the home screen this is the ui and yeah let's just talk about the performance the overall performance i didn't expect in the first build it, it would be good but it's really great these are the benchmark scores 515 and 1540 the scores are really good and overall performance also it's really good the performance it's better than MIUI 13 so I recommend you to use this stock Android Android 13 ROM it's better than MIUI 13 performance I must say so like when you launch a new app it will ask you for the allow notifications as you can see so if you want you can allow it and you can don't allow it so it's your choice this is a great option because the notifications just helps you a lot talking about the safetyness status the safetyness status has surprisingly passed on the first build of the android 13 rom and all the banking apps are working perfectly fine no issues then talking about the drm info the we get to see the wide wine l1 security level so full hd playback here is also working talking about the default camera we get to see here is just the basic normal camera with just video and photo modes it works good but the google camera here is working perfectly fine so why to use the camera the gcam here works fine it's good the quality is great everything is good in the google camera so we can use it so yeah the overall the drone is the first build i am very much impressed and it's working fine so no issues the android 10 we can use android 13 rom we can use it as a daily driver there are few bugs present in this rom like when you unlock it sometimes it just don't unlock it shows you black screen then again shows you the lock screen so this is a bug present then the widget bugs here are present as you can see the location needed the location here is already on and when i click here it will just go but the weather widget here is just not working then the battery widget here is also not working when i connect my the, any of the smart watch or the e headphones or anything it just doesn't show the battery life battery here so the widgets here are the bugs present otherwise everything works fine the calls messaging camera microphone everything flashlight works perfectly fine no issues you can use it as a daily driver easily the battery backup here is a bit low but otherwise everything just works fine there are no issues in this room the only issue i had got here is there are there are no different toggles for the wi-fi and mobile data when you click on click on this toggle you will get these two options and you can turn it from here so yeah otherwise everything works fine so yes this was it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye